Hello friends, welcome to my channel Clinical Biochemistry by Dr. P.K. Prabhakar. In this series of research matrices, research uh, parameters, uh, today I am going to talk about what is impact factor and how impact factor is going to be calculated. And other than impact factor, what are the other parameter uh, which gives you the similar type of information. So in that terms, if you see the scientific productivity, normally uh, science have some input and there will be output also. So what is the input? Uh, we are going to invest in the scientist uh, buildings, equipments, uh, communication tools, salary of the GRF, SRF, staff and as a result we are going to get some pub, uh, output uh, which can be which is the measurable for the scientific output that can be publication, that can be patent, books, technology transfer, instrument design, royalty owns or different other parameters. So they are the input and output for the scientific community. The scientific uh, productivity uh, is going to be measured. There are number of parameters, number of matrices are there by which we are going to measure the scientific productivity of a institution, of a, an author or a scientist or a researcher. So the two different parameters, we are two different kind of measurable things we are having in terms of quantity also in terms of quality also. When we are going to measure the scientific productivity in terms of quantity, there we are going to talk about the number of paper published. And when we are talking about the quality of the uh, productivity, then we are going to talk the number of citations. Uh, this citation uh, varying on, depending on the number of parameters, number of other uh, thing, components. So we have different uh, important parameters, different, different important uh, indexes we can call it. Citation is one of the index, impact factor, H index, I10 index, number of other indexes also is there. So slowly uh, in some other lectures we will talk one by one. Uh, already I have uh, made a video on H index, how to write paper, how to do literature search. Today I am going to talk about impact factor. So what is impact factor? This impact factor or we are also going to call journal impact factor, JIF or IF. Uh, that is normally for any academic journal and it is measured which reflects the yearly average number of citations uh, to the recent article published in that particular journal. So it is a quality of uh, a journal. When we are talking about the matrices, there are two types of matrices. One is uh, journal matrices which is the quality of journals and second one is author, author matrices. So which is normally going to tell you the, about the authors. So impact factor is a journal matrix which gives you the quality of journal. It is frequently used as a proxy for the relative importance of the journal within the field. A journal with high impact factor is commonly uh, treated as the good, it will have more importance and the which will have lower impact factor that will be treated as the less important journal in that particular field. The impact factor was nor it was devised by uh, Eugene Garf Garfield, the founder of the Institute of Scientific uh, Information ISI. So, if this info, uh, J, uh, impact factor you will see, this is JCR, uh, provides the quantitative tool for ranking, evaluation, categorization and comparing journals. So you can compare uh, journals on the basis of this one also. The impact factor uh, of, that is the, uh, normally it is going to be used for the important basis for the selection of journal. Uh, it is a measure for the reputation of the journal also. Uh, impact factor measures the uh, frequency uh, with which the average article of a journal is going to be cited in a particular year. And this is a dynamic uh, index which changes on the basis of citation and number of paper every year. So this impact factor is one of these. It is a measure uh, of the frequency with which the average article of a journal has been cited particular area, year or particular period. The, and every year, uh, JCR impact factor is a ratio between the citation and the rec uh, recent citable item published. Thus, the impact factor of a journal is calculated by dividing the number of citation, a number of current year citation, current year means previous two year citation, to the source item published in that journal during the previous two years. So, this is the formula by which uh, journal impact factor is going to be calculated. Total number of item, uh, its article were cited during the previous two year um, divided by the total number of citable article published in this two year. So if you divide it and you will get a value and that is called as its impact factor. So the formula will say 
the like if i'm going for example i'm going to calculate the impact factor for any journal uh, in 2020 so what we are going to take it we are going to take the citation of all the citable article published in that particular journal in the previous two years so like citation of the year 2018 and citation in the year 2019 it will be divided by number of paper published in 18 and number of paper published in 19 so that will give me the impact factor for 2020 like for example uh, number of paper this is just an example this is a random number i have taken uh, for, you know, i want to calculate the impact factor for 2020 so in this journal number of paper published in 2018 is 250 number of paper published in 2019 is also 250 citation uh, which has received in this journal for 2018 is 1050 and citation in the year of 2019 is 1100 so according to the formula so first i will add the total number of citation in the 18 and 19 it will be divided by the total number of article published and that will give the impact factor so according to this data the impact factor of this particular journal is 4.3 this is the uh, different uh, in which category how many journals are there on an average according to the journal ranking 1819 if you see um as in uh, impact factor increases the number of journal qual means uh, quality of uh, sorry you can only call it number of journals is very reduced like uh, we are having uh, 244 journals which is having more than 10 impact factor it will go for more than 9 impact factor 300 journals uh, so this is the number of journals having the different impact factor similarly we are having another parameter uh, which we are going to call site score this site score is another matrices uh, for the measuring journal impact that is in scopus uh, impact factor is normally given by the uh, web of science web of ws and this site score is similar type of things by scopus the calculation of site score is going to consider three years data that i will show you later on this site score is normal total if you'll see the in the scopus there are eight different indicators are there like site score, site score tracker, site score percentile, site score quarantine, site score rank, citation count, document count, and percentile percentage cited. So, out of those eight different indices, eight different matrices, site score is one of the matrices. And this site score normally includes all the document which is going to be indexed in scopus it can be research article it can be review article it can be letter it can be notes it can be editorial it can be conference paper so site score includes everything whereas uh, impact factor includes only paper as well as the review article article and the review article so site score of a journal is calculated by dividing the number of citation for the article published in the last three years by the number of articles published in the journal during the previous three years like similar to impact factor if i want to calculate the site score for a journal in 2020 then i will take three years published data like all the article which is published in 17 18 19 how many citation has been received for these three years published paper so citation in 2020 how many citation is for all these paper which is published in these three years divided by the number of paper published in these three years okay so this is the formula in case of impact factor we are going to take only two years data so how many citations has received in those two years and here we are going to take three years data. now i'm going to compare the site score versus the impact factor so site score uh, which is the parameter given by scopus it includes all the citable documents includes article review article letter note editorial conference proceedings like this is the example we are having six seven years data uh, in this case if i want to calculate the site score for this particular journal in the year of 2020 so in that case i am going to take all those papers which is published in 17 18 and 19 so total citation for all the paper which is published in these three years so citable document from last three years and their citation we will receive how many citations they have received in this year 2020 because i want to calculate in 2020 so i will count here similarly at the same time impact factor which is the parameter given by ws there we are going to take only citable document like article and review article not 
editorial notes letters they are not going to be considered here similarly yeah, here we are having impact factor for if i want to calculate in 2020 there i am going to take the number of paper published in last two years that is 18 and 19 that is citable document and how many cite citation has occurred in these two years here in case of site score we are going to see how many citation in the year of 2020 here i am going to see how many citation in the 18 and 19 so there are few differences are there uh, between the site score but roughly these two are almost similar type of parameter one thing is site score is not the current data because it is the previous three years document and previous three years paper citation we are going to see where in case of impact factor we are just going to see the previous two years so compared to site score impact factor is a little bit more recent data so this is all the information about the site score and impact factor how we are going to calculate site score how we are going to calculate impact factor and what is the basic differences between these two so uh, hope you have understand it uh, if you have any query any comments you can write in the comment box if you're not subscribed my channel you can subscribe it you can press the bell button so that you will get all the notification on time you can follow my channels on these different platforms uh, with the twitter handles these the different handles so thank you very much have a nice day